Today I'm going to show you how to create a neon light effect. Hello my friends and let's get started. This is our end result. Let's delete this and see where we start at our brick wall, which is completely empty. And the first thing to do is to turn off the light. So let's go over here to our rectangle tool. Up here where it says fill, you can select a dark blue color and then click and drag it over all of the background. So it's completely blue and now Select over here in the blend modes multiply and you can see that the brick wall is shining through but now it's dark which is very good for us. The next thing we need to do is click down here on our text tool. You can click and drag on the canvas to set the right size and then write neon light in my case. Of course you can write anything you want and with the text selected up here is the fill color and I will set that to pink. You can change the color to anything else, but pink is a classic neon light color. So I thought that's kind of a good idea to use that today. I will center it in the picture. And now we will use some layer effects to make it look like neon light. So the first thing we're going to do is of course, click over here on effects and then create an outer glow. Click on the little hook here to activate outer glow. And then we also set it to pink or the same light as the color that you chose from your font. And let's push up the radius so we get a glow effect. That's pretty nice like this. Let's leave it at that. The next one we want to do is the inner glow. So click on this little triangle here so it opens up like this and then click on the little wrench that's important because we need more settings than we have here. Click on that and you can see there's a little bit more stuff that we have and what we need to change is it has to be center and not edge. You can see if I have it on edge it comes from the outside. That's not a good idea. We need to have it from center so it comes from the inside as with a normal neon light. There we go and we can set it to a very nice value that's kind of intense. There we go. So this already looks pretty good. Another thing that we can do is click on outline and you can set the alignment on center. That's pretty important. And the fill style you can set to contour. And then down here you have a gradient. Click on that and set the color to a darker color, darker pink, maybe a bit, a little bit reddish like this. Okay. And now we can use the radius to push it in just a little bit. So we have this kind of a little hook, little hiccup in our outline. The reason for that is that um, when you look at the picture of a neon light, it's getting a little bit darker before it get, it's getting brighter. The reason for that, of course, is because the glass is a material and on the edges it's getting thicker and it's also breaking the light. So we have a little bit of a dark edge on the outside. So and this will kind of simulate that. Good. The next thing we are going to do is to put some light on the wall um, behind the neon light. So let's click on layers again and then right click on uh, the text layer and duplicate it and then right click again and rasterize it. And here it says preserve layer effects. Unhook that so it doesn't do that and click rasterize. And now we all we have all that thing that we created before but as pixels and we will push this pixel layer down here onto the rectangle layer so it's inside here that's important and the next thing we're going to do is to with this pixel layer select the change the blend mode to uh, pin light down here and then click on effects scroll up click on Gaussian blur and set up the radius and you can see it creates a very nice light behind our neon light or we will do more. We will duplicate the pixel layer, then hold control and use one of the handles to push it out a little bit. You can see we get a little bit more light and then you click on the lower layer and you will set it to screen, which will make the light more intense. Can even reduce that a little bit, it's a little bit too light maybe. And I will hide um, the neon font for a second so you can see 
what is happening here. Um, you can see this one, the more intense one, this one is the screen layer. And then we have the other one, which is set to pin light, which has more color. And so we have a light fall off to the outside where the color is more intense, but the light is less intense, which makes it a lot more realistic. Okay, let's re uh, let's turn on the neon light text layer again, and we will click again on effects and then click on outer shadows because we need to create a shadow because the light the neon light tubes are a little bit away from the wall so leave it at black set up the radius and then push out the offset the offset is the distance to the wall you can set it to any kind of distance you want i'm not using too much distance because i don't want it to be um, how can I say, interfering with the text so the readability is still there. Okay, another thing that I like to do to make it even more realistic is we will create a new layer up here on top of everything else and I will uh, I will hold control and click the text layer so we create this mask and then click on our pixel layer again and click down here on mask. So we will create a mask. Now I can use control D to deselect and we have a little mask here and whatever we brush in here will be um, just inside of that mask. So let's use our brush, set it to a big size and the hardness to zero. So it's very soft on the outside and we will set it to also a pink color and just, I will make it a little bit bigger actually. There we go just brush a little bit on the outside. You can see like this, a little bit here, and a little bit there, a little bit like this. And we can set that to pin light also. There we go. And even reduce it a little bit is a bit too much like this. And the reason why we're doing this is, first of all, we have a little bit of a change in the light situation towards the outside. And secondly, um, if you use a camera to photograph a neon light, you have a different kind of how it's, um, how can I say, how the sensor is influenced and you have more influence on the middle and a little bit less on the outside. So this looks even more realistic. Of course, you can set it to your taste, even reduce the effect even more. Maybe like this is good. Okay, um, another thing we can do now is click again on our text layer, right click and duplicate it uh, because we have done basically almost all of the work and now we can just, oops, we can just select the layer with our text tool of course and write another text. Let's write party in here and we can change the fill color. Let's select all of the text, that's important. There we go. Change the fill color to a blue nice blue there we go and of course we have to click on the effects and also change the color there to blue here but also with our outline go in here select blue down here and there we go we have a very nice blue effect now blue text let's resize this to a nice small size go back to our layers and now we're going to duplicate it again and we are going to rasterize it again without the preserved layer effects. Of course, let's rasterize that. Push it down here again into the rectangle. Set it to pin light. Where are we? There we go. And we will Gaussian blur this layer. There we go. And you can see it creates a nice light on the background. We can duplicate it again and set the lower one to screen as before. There we go, screen and use the upper one, resizes a little bit, so it's a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, and now we have two texts in different colors and it looks pretty amazing. 
So this is the video for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, I make a new video every three days. So subscribe to my channel if you want. If you want to support me even more, head over to Patreon. And as one of my supporters, you get the original file with all the layers. You get feedback on your creations and you can live chat with me if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.